Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video lesson, we will learn about two-dimensional character array. A two-dimensional character array or array of strings is declared in the following manner. Char password list first subscript 6, second subscript 10. The first subscript 6 represents the number of strings in the array and the second subscript 10 represents the length of each string. So the length of one string cannot be exceed than 10 characters for this array. So to store this array in memory we need 6 into 10 equal to 60 bytes of memory because char takes 1 bytes of memory. The declaration and initialization can be done as follows char password list first subscript second subscript equal to in double quotation you can declare the strings. Here in this array we have declared 6 strings first is Ritu second is Krishna third is Yogesh fourth is Sarita fifth is Krishti and sixth is Vedant. The memory representation of this array is as shown in the right side. Note that we have considering the base address of the array is 65510 and the length of each string is 10 character long. So there is a difference of 10 bytes in between two strings. So base address of second string is 655520 and the base address of third string is 655530 and so on. The empty location after backslash 0 remains empty but each location takes 1 byte of memory. So our 2D array of string will take 60 bytes of memory. Now it's time to understand it practically. As you can see code blocks is open. Click on the file menu new and empty file. Save the program as two D care array dot C. Let's start coding. In this program, we are going to declare and initialize a two dimensional character array and then we will print its contents. So let's begin hash include stdio.h int main opening brace care password list subscript 6 subscript 10 equal to in curly bracket double quotation the first string read to comma second string Krishna third string Yogesh fourth string Sarita fifth string Krishti sorry and last one is Vedant ok so declaration and initialization is done now let's print the contents of the array for that we need a loop so we need one variable for the loop int i for i equal to 0 i less than 6 i plus plus opening brace printf percent yes 
backslash n comma password list subscript i semicolon and return bracket zero semicolon save the program again compile the program compile current file the program is absolutely fine now run the program build arrow run and you can see the output on the screen now we are going to modify the program so that we can use it for real life programming so i am going to add some variables here say char password okay int found equal to 0 so we have added two variables now we want to receive the password from the user so printf enter password okay scanf percent yes comma password semicolon now we are going to compare this password with our password list array so if strcmp in bracket password comma password list subscript i equal to 0 if both strings are identical that is same then found equal to 1 note that we have initialized this variable 0 at the beginning if string found in the array we are setting its value to 1 ok if element found then we will immediately come out of this loop that's why this break ok now it's time to add one extra file for this function strcmp that is string.h so I am gonna include this file here hash include string dot h okay now if found equal to one can be written as if found okay printf welcome semicolon else printf backslash n you are not a part of this group semicolon ok let's save it again compile the program ok spelling mistake is there it should be password list now it's ok save the program compile the program again build compile current file now it's ok now run the program to view the output 
I am going to enter password Krishti enter and you can see welcome message on the screen we are going to rerun this program and enter a new string say Raj pressing enter and you can see the output you are not a part of this group so that's all for this video lesson hope you enjoy it hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the upcoming interesting video lessons if you have any query regarding this video lesson please let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching